agriculture has been a cornerstone of the Sri Lankan economy. But one critical problem that our farmers continue to face is the post-harvesting loss of fruits and vegetables. With a loss of about 450 million kilograms of produce every year, it certainly is no small issue. Post-harvest losses occur during handling, storage and transportation in the food supply chain. According to the statistic, they have found that the post-harvest losses is around 18 billion Sri Lankan rupees annually. And also with this coronavirus pandemic, situation. People in the public, they are trying to store large quantities of fruits and vegetables at their home. With these problems in mind, Dr. Nuan De Silva, Dr. Surani Chatharika, Gayatri Senaviratna and Dr. Ruchira Vijaysena at the Sri Lanka Institute of Nanotechnology have innovated a product that includes naturally occurring nano or microparticles that encapsulate ethylene scavenging compounds. Ethylene is a hormone that is produced by fruits and vegetables and it triggers enzymes inside fruits and vegetables that start the ripening process and undesired yellowing and softening. In this product, an ethylene scavenging compound is impregnated to naturally occurring mineral particles. These mineral particles help release ethylene scavenging compounds in a controlled and sustained way, and thereby delay the ripening of fruits and aging of vegetables by about 30%. We know that fruit ripening and deterioration is caused by ethylene and this product is to stop or to slow down the ethylene action. This product has triple action. Firstly, um, the active materials adsorb ethylene uh, and then the active ingredient uh, break down ethylene into water and carbon dioxide. It also contains moisture absorbing material which slow down or retard the growth of microbes. Slintech is currently partnering with several institutes across food and agriculture, logistics and retail to deliver this product in several formats. They are exploring the most efficient format at each stage of the distribution process of fresh produce. Not only will this innovation support the livelihoods of our farmers, it will also provide the reinforcements our economy desperately needs right now.